make some of this potentially identifiable to individuals. What happens then? Okay, um, this is not just a UK initiative. There are now global opportunities. Because the US also has an effort to publish data using these same open standards, we can produce an application here that compares the international spending of the US and the UK in overseas aid, or even compares their crime rates by streets. Okay. Now, whether that's of interest or not, and that's Vivek Kundra on the right, who's the CIO of the United States, there is a way. There's an opportunity, there's a moment when we can build this into people's awareness. And I was very admiring of much that the Commissioner said this morning. I'd like her to start thinking about open data as well as all the other openness she talks about. Okay, thank you. So Nigel, just one question. As, uh, as the next speaker uh, is setting up, Thomas, you can, uh, you, you can start. Um, why, um, why didn't this happen sooner? It seems, I mean, I know you're explaining that it's not as simple, but I mean, the rationale seems simple. Why sure. didn't anybody think of this? Well, I mean, the rationale for it's like, ask yourselves, why hasn't openness happened forever and why is it still a, a cause you need to promote and, 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 uh, and gather support for? There are lots of reasons. I didn't really have a chance, chance to talk about them, but there is a culture of actually governments thinking they know their data best. They don't actually entirely trust people to make sense of it. They employ armies of experts to analyze it before it can go out there. That's just one reason. Um, there was also, I think, a notion that um, the, the idea, they, thought, they often thought they were doing it. They literally thought that producing it as a PDF report or having built a website that described it buried away in some pages somewhere was publishing the data. One thing that we absolutely require in the future going forward is that sites like NHS Choices that actually have a large amount of data about a sector make the data that drives their websites available using open standards. Because actually one of the problems in many of these areas are the content management systems that are proprietary, that are IT legacy systems in government. Thanks very much. So